Howdy everyone, it's me once again, the one and only Killer Dan. And today, as you can see, I'm still continuing my Disney movie marathon right here, folks. Whether I'll be talking about the movies, shows, wh whatever, whatever the case may be, I guess. So, I guess let's get straight to the point because I don't want this to be going for too long, really. So, yeah, here we go. So, uh, the thing is that Disney had announced that they're going to be doing uh, like another movie or something titled The Mutants, and it's been the Rorks. Assuming that nothing gets in the way, by which I mean, like, we ca I've spoken about this kind of thing before, like, when it comes to production, any kind of production, things can get put in the way, whether it's creative differences or whatever the case may be, or taking too long, may put the plug. Again, assuming that they're not getting in the way. They're going to be doing a new movie called The Mutants, I guess. So it's on its way. So what's the big deal? Oh, well, DC and Marvel have been doing a thing anyway. So these individuals have been doing lots of super stuff to begin with. Oh, yeah, let's not forget about the Incredible movies. So at the time, for the time, there's only two of them. So like I said, okay, what's the big deal? whoop de doo This stuff is about to happen eventually. Okay, so yeah, of course, some of the fans, some of the X-Men are, uh, are pretty mad. Because what some of them have stated that it's, it's, a, it's in some ways a censorship from Disney's part. And, and that's the thing. Uh, that's not the entire thing I'm going to be talking about, but it's a part of it. And, um, of course, some people stating that uh, reported, they wanted to call it the uh, sort of name. What I'm saying is that they didn't want to use the words X-Men in its title in any shape or form. So, yeah, they wanted to use the title The Mutants because of the fact that the word, in just any title that would include men, or man, boy, dude, or, you know, anything that would refer to the male gender, somehow is too toxic. And the fact that you include this kind of thing is a big no-no, apparently. So, if anything, it's a marketing decision that they did for the movie that's coming out. So, okay. I don't think that's the case, but in some ways, I do have to think about the fact that this is a business. It's first and foremost a business. You vote with your dollar. And, of course, Daisy has already been making a lot of money over the years. Again, look at their Marvel movies, for example. They've been, been making quite a bit of movies uh, with all these types of stuff. And the superhero stuff, like I was saying, makes a lot of money. It makes a truck ton of money. So, okay. Of course, they're going to attach themselves to some sort of superhero stuff, by the way. So, that's not much of a stretch. Uh, even, though, even though, despite the fact movies like the new mutants weren't exactly... Well, let's say, wasn't well received. And neither was X-Men Dark Phoenix. Yeah, a lot of fans seem to be disliking these two movies. I mean, these weren't the only two, of course. Movies like um, X-Men weren't well received by fans. And neither was, um, let's say, this one either. Even though I didn't think it was all that bad, honestly. But whatever. But... Same thing with um, this. Yeah, a lot of people of the fan base really didn't like this one either, of course. And obviously there was a strong decline in these films in quality according to fans because of this film. It just went downhill. I didn't really fully recover afterwards. And um, But yeah, and that's the thing. I guess this was like a sign of something, I guess you can say. Even though the three X-Men movies that did receive some decent reviews from reason are The Wolverine, which, yeah, I did see a while back, which I thought was decent, I suppose. And X-Men Days of Future Past, which, yes, I actually did really enjoy it as well, actually. And Logan. And though, honestly, I kind of felt that this movie is, you know, overhyped, if I'm going to be honest here. But point being is that the... Yeah, there was a downhill, uh, I guess, effect, even on color, even on color. That and what's the best way to say it? Um, yeah, okay, it was it was going downhill. Like we're saying, it was going downhill when it comes to these movies. So, but the thing is that so it just it seems like it seemed like no other direction that this was gonna go really. 
So what I'm planning, some people say that there may be a reboot or something, but it's in itself, I kind of find de you know, debating in some ways. De yeah, questionable is one way, of course, because the thing is that Doctor Strange into the Multiverse of Madness did include the character Doctor Savior. Yeah, that Doctor Savior from the X Men movies. So does this mean that those films still count in some ways, and the New Mutants uh, is just doing his own thing? So yeah, it's a bit murky in the details, I guess, from what I can find. The other thing I want to bring up real quick is that a lot of the fans of X Men claim that Disney has gone too woke anyway, and which of course is completely nonsensical, obviously, and it's somehow bad business. Their evidence is supposedly the Star Wars sequel trilogy, yeah, the one with Ray. And according to what a lot of them are trying to say is that they're trying, the Disney is trying to erase all the previous X-Men films, to pretty much wipe them off continuity, and then just start anew. I guess in the quote-unquote more correct way, according to what was being said. I was saying, folks, and yeah, I know I haven't said all that much, but I just want to do this real quick. Most of the new X-Men films... I said most, not all, but most weren't really doing all that well anyway when it comes to the reviews. So I don't know what they were expecting exactly. Again, it's a business. But anyway, yes, every fan base can be really toxic. Not that I'm, I'm agreeing with every business tactic that the company did, like Beauty and the Beast, for example. That was a terrible remake. And I hate remakes. And, of course, the Cinderella remake was also very bad as well. Along with, uh, let me see here. Oh, yeah. The Atlanta remake? Awful. They're all terrible. Ever seen one of these? Yes, even this one as well. What a pile of stinking shit. Uh, stinky, stinky shit. Anyway, folks. But again, like I said, the every fan base can be toxic. This includes, of course, the X-Men X -Men fan base. So I felt like a lot of them are just allow the emotions to get the better of them. And I'm not saying that companies can't be criticized. Don't get me wrong. I'm just saying. All right, folks. Uh, I guess that'll be it for now. So, of course, as always, thanks for watching and take care. Until next time, see ya. Oh, yeah.